clothing. Um, <clears throat> some of you probably noticed that certain clothing can actually sort of set things off for you. There are companies that make um, HS friendly clothing because you know friction and rubbing can actually be an issue. So I do have just a couple of quick ideas for you guys if um, you are struggling with that. And compression wear nowadays, they make shirts, they make arm sleeves, um, they make um, short sleeve shirts and long sleeve shirts. So it'll tuck in and help pull everything in so that you aren't rubbing skin on skin. Instead, you're rubbing fabric on fabric where all of your body is nicely tucked in. Same with um, the lower half. You can get compression shorts that you can wear under pants, um, or you can get compression tights that you can wear under something, or you can wear them on around the surface. Both are fine. But <clears throat> that compression helps to hold things in. Now, obviously, I'm well aware that if you know if you have an active spot, an active lesion, any pressure is a no-go. And obviously, you're gonna just work around that and do something different. But just for ideas that you know, if you do want to avoid friction, um, there are clothing options, but then there's also um, there are a few products that you can buy that help with gliding. So Vaseline is like the cheapest one, but it tends to wear off pretty quickly. But there's a product called Body Glide that you can get at most running stores. Um, and then there's another one that you can find online that has a funny name that I'll share with you. It's called Squirrels Nut Butter. And that one is the same idea. It's an anti chafe. Um, and it's not just like, I don't know, I mean, I got thick thighs and the shirt to prove it, but <clears throat> I can't wear short shorts without getting rubbing in between my legs. And it's, I mean, I wouldn't, for the longest time, I wouldn't wear um, short shorts or I wouldn't wear skirts without shorts underneath. And body glide and that uh, squirrels butter can help to increase the number of different things that you can wear. When it comes to swimming pools, obviously if you have any open draining or healing surgery spots, swimming pool is not going to be an option for you. But there are lots of swimsuits now that you can find online that have like a rash guard style shirt that, you know, if you're self-conscious about scarring or anything, is going to cover that up. And lots of <clears throat> short suits. And they're so common now that it doesn't stand out as being in an unusual suit, right? Or there's ones, you know, with skirts that can help cover any spots that you might be worried about. I would, you know, in a perfect world, I would love to say, you don't need to worry about that, but I know what it's like, you know, people do get self-conscious about um, scars and stretch marks and um, from HS, you know, you can get some pretty uh, significant accordion scarring and debriefing scars. So just an idea that playing around with that type of clothing can help you be more active, um, whether that's in the pool or out um, on land.